When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them from one another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Amen. I love that. That means that God prepared the kingdom for us before the world was ever formed. But that's another thing. Anyway, this is why they make it in. For when I was a hungered, you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Verse 37. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in? or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto to you, Insomuch as ye have done it unto the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on his left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his devil and his angels. And for for I was in hunger, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and you visited me not. Then shall they say, they answer also him, saying, Lord, when saw we be in hunger, or thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Insomuch as ye did it not to the least of these, uh, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into ever into life eternal. Okay, so this type of professing Christian is actually going to hell for doing things like not helping the homeless, not helping those in need, um, not visiting the sick or in prison. You know, ouch. This is this is just a huge shock when I read this and understood understood um, what the Lord was actually saying. Um, that you can actually go to hell for not helping others, you know. Um if, if you have it in your power to help someone that is homeless or in need or anything like that, um, you definitely want to do that because it, it's a huge shocker to get all the way ready to go to glory, ready to, um, you know, thinking that you're, you're going to make it in and, you know, you're not making it in because of something like this. So... This is a very important message. This isn't my word. So, you know, if you don't want to receive this message, don't take it out on me. This is the word of God. It's in red, KJV. We're not reading out of the message Bible. And I'm not even going to go into that. Why? Wow, that's wrong. But anyway, this is the word of God. Um, this is what it says. So if you have an issue with it, you really need to take it up with God. But I urge you all to receive this message. If, if you fit any of these types of professing saints that won't make it in you really need to seek God and repent and turn if you need to be preaching you need to be preaching you need to get out there okay so I'm just going to go over a summary of what I just read um, types of professing saints going to hell okay one oppressing other saints hanging out with sinners okay I'm a saint of God there's other ministers and saints of God um, you don't want to be oppressing true saints of God. Like I said, this ain't my word. This word of God. If you don't want to receive it, take it up with God. Um, and you don't want to be running around, getting drunk, hanging around with drunkards, hanging around with sinners. Okay? Uh, you want to live holy. Okay? 
Uh, number two, professing Christians, but not in a relationship with God. Your lamp is gone out. There's no, there's no oil. You can't light your lamp without oil. Uh, so you don't want to be a, the type of Christian that isn't in the Word, isn't in your relationship with God, isn't praying, you know, isn't taking your uh, salvation seriously and soberly and um, truly seeking God. Third type, not using your talent, like I said, not preaching. You don't want to be the type of saint that isn't preaching or using whatever talent. You know your talents and what God has given you. So, you know, you got you got some time now. He hasn't came back yet. You haven't died yet. You want to fix that and work on that right now before it's too late. Um, and the last type, not helping those in need, you know. Not taking care of those in need by feeding them, taking them in, clothing them, and visiting them. For when I was a hungered and you gave me no meat, um, when I was thirsty and you gave me no drink, I was a stranger and you took me not in and you clothed me not, uh, sick and in prison and you visited me not. So you don't want to want to do that. Um, you want to be the type of saint that makes it in. So please, please seek God, pray. Um, take this serious. This is a very sober message. Don't get this message and just, just, you know, ignore it and go on and keep sinning and, and keep, you know, not doing things right. Hold on one second. Scott, please, honey. I'm, okay. Um, you want to, you want to be right. You want to be holy. You want to be for God. So, you know, please listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what God is saying. Listen to God's word. I beg with you, I plead with you, take it serious. If you aren't right with God, please get right and um, repent. Repent, turn, turn, turn from whatever it is that you're not doing right. Um, we really want to be seeking God in this final hour. I love you all. Uh, I pray for you all. I mean, I sincerely, sincerely do. And I, I really wish you all the best in this. Okay? Bye.